Hello everyone, Crazy P here, and today we're going to start our playthrough of the game Sheltered. Now I say playthrough, but I'm not exactly sure what that all entails. This game, uh, you know those, you know those games on your smartphone where you have a colony of people and you just gotta go gather stuff and build stuff and get more survivors? That's essentially what this game is. Basically, this game takes place after, uh, as you can see on the screen, this is kind of a deserted town. I believe this is our hatch here in the foreground that leads down to our shelter. And uh, we just gotta, we gotta, we gotta go with it. So we're gonna, we're gonna get into this here. Uh, I did pick up this game on Kickstarter over a year ago. I did play a little bit, uh, but I've literally not played since then. So I'm sure there's a bit of updates. I'm a little familiar with the game, but we're gonna start a new save here. So in Sheltered, you look after a family of two adults and two children. So I guess we don't try to gather as many survivors, which that's our family. And we're just, we're trying to get by. So we're gonna, we're gonna set up this family. Whew. Excuse me. So we've got our fun little family here. We got some options. Uh, let's get uh, Bam. What's up? He's gonna be rocking some some gray shorts there. Proactive, huh? Make this guy. Uh, I like the bandana. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's different. Oh my gosh. We get. Let's see if we can't get back to that bandana. We'll give him the bandana. Why not? Oh my gosh, there's so many options on here. <laughs> I don't know. Even, how do I get back to the one that I was? There, we'll, we'll, we'll call it good there. And no, he's, he's going to wear shorts. He doesn't care about the... Uh, he doesn't care about all that stuff. Uh, we'll make this guy resourceful. Oh, and then we've got some stats on the right-hand side here, as you can see. And there's a different title. We will make them well-rounded. Uh, Patricio. Haha, look at that. There's one parent. Here's the other parent. We'll have them be a... We'll have them be a, a male and female couple. Why not? And we'll just, or I'm just clicking, I'm looking away right now. <laughs> this is great. Try, once we get into the game though, it's gonna pick up a little bit. I'm, I, I, I'm sure you can hear me just clicking through all this. We'll make them Make them optimistic, and then... Let's, uh... A street smart? Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. They're not named Edward, though. I'm sorry. Well, let's, uh... Let's, let's pick up... I'm, I'm terrible with names. I am terrible with names. <laughs> let's um let's do let's do let's do uh oh, whoops that's way too many letters there uh Wilhelmina Wilhelmina why not huh so I've got our two children Ruth sounds like a decent name. We'll, we'll leave that one there. 
And then we're just gonna random pick one, pick one again, pick one. I, not nothing against that. Just this looks like zombie right here, and I don't want my kid looking like zombies. So we'll just pick someone. She can have the uh, the th the headband. Oh, there's only two kids' legs options? Oh my gosh. <laughs> they will be courageous and... Looks like they have they have lower stats too since they're kids. Uh, she can be, she can be a bully. She can be a bully and then we got another kid. Uh, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a son named Jack. And we'll just click through here. You can be, you can be, there we go. Oh, he gets three leg options. Look at that. Oof. Be hands on and a be a smarty pants. So now. Oh, 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 we need a family name. Bowman, Tigger, that's... We have pets? I don't remember pets before. Oh my gosh, we have horses? Horses need a lot of food. Oh, wow. I'm just looking through all these options because I've I haven't seen them before. I think we might I think we might go with the uh, the cat. I do like the uh, the abilities. Whoops! Yeah, we will go with the uh, with the cat. And uh, I think we are set. We will play the tutorial real quick, and then actually get into the real thing. So here we are in our world of sheltered. We're all loading in, as you can see down here in the corner, there's our hatch. The hatch is closed. We've got a double door system. Everyone's through. Close the outside door. Get in. Close the inside door. It's like a, a double lock, I think some might call that. So you put your cursor on the edges of the screen. I don't think I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to just be moving around with the... Uh... Oh, look at that. Highlight an object, an, an, an object, and press right mouse to interact with it. Petrol generator. Oh, here we go. Here's the generator. So we are going to add fuel, just like that. Uh, looks like we have eight fuel available. No, it's only seven fuel. Fool. It's only seven fuel. Generator must be kept running to power vital life and support systems. Vital life support systems. I can't read. So we are going to select Wilhelmina and fix the generator. Regularly fix items to prevent them from breaking. Okay. Fix. So we got our two kids. We're all kind of just hanging out. So there's times that these take. Everyone's gonna have these uh, this needs list over here. So everyone's a little bit different here. Uh, so we need to select Patricio. And 
drink water from the water butt. Yeah, drink that water butt. As you can see, his thirst. There we go. So the thirst meter's down. The goal is to survive for as long as possible. You can explore, expand, maintain the shelter, and keep the family healthy. 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 Can you tell that I'm saying healthy and not healthy? Explore and gather resources by using the radio transmitter to set up an expedition. Resources. Res resources. Expand the shelter with the workbench. All right, so the workbench is kind of important here, if I remember right. Your family might, you know, next step might be to explore, build, or check the family. Oh, we can also use the mouse. It looks like we have the parts to upgrade the system. What system are we upgrading? Uh, our workbench is down here. So we're gonna build, okay. So basically, to build this stuff, we need to go out and gather out in the wastelands, I guess you could call it. So there's cement. Uh, snare trap, you can use that for catching animals, obviously. New rooms, you can add new rooms. It uses a few materials. Gas mass, that's kind of important. Carry bag, more slots, more items, nice. Okay, bandages. Hiding, ooh, that's kind of cool. To make it, we need hinges. I think we have to actually find hinges. We can't just make hinges. Okay, oh my gosh, we make graves, huh? So then there's other tiers. And special, I think you have to find, maybe you find recipes for those? Bulletproof fast, jukebox, because you know you definitely do that when you're surviving. That's something I always thought about in like a post-apocalyptic fallout. Uh, how no music? There just might not like how are you gonna record music in the you know if everyone dies? <laughs> uh, so this is just the tutorial. Let's not forget that. No quests. Okay. So we, ooh, so we got rain up here. Nice little rain effect there. There's our oxygen filter, which gives us which gives us the oxygen. We can't go anywhere with our camper van. There's no wheels there for some reason. Water filter, that's important too. I believe one of the items that you can make here is a, like a rain bucket. Not not the bucket toilet. That's a little different. That one's different. The uh, is it in tier two? There's paint. Hmm. Oh, there's lots of paint. Oh my gosh, skin, you, or, oh, oh, skin, oh, as a skin tone to people like to tan. Okay, I get it. Somewhere, I thought there was a rain bucket. Well, I guess we'll have to deal with that later. So I guess I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now. We got water, we've got all this stuff. Do we have a bed? We should probably make a bed. It might have said to make a bed. So we will just make a... I guess we can only make the sleeping bag. And we will just put it right there. Okay, and we've just assigned a job. Two jobs in queue, so you can kind of plan ahead a little bit. Cancel the job by pressing C or clicking the X on the job tab. Oh, right here. Okay, so there's the little backup. It's a clipboard. Oh, cool. It just kind of keeps everything in check. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's let's set up. Let's 
there's plenty of stuff we can do here. Is there a pantry? Oh, I just got an achievement. Storage. Oh, this is okay. So this is where we keep our items. Kind of neat. Items collected or stored here. You can create extra storage by crafting more storage boxes. No way. So we've got erasers, uh, recycling bin. Oh, it's now it's just a plastic tub. <laughs> Anti-radiation tablets, those are going to be kind of handy. So, when we go out on expeditions, we can take items from here. Bring the gas mask. Uh, we got a few of those. Anti-radiation tablets. If you go outside without the suit on, you, uh, you just automatically get infected with radiation. I, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. So we can do Q&E to actually cycle through everyone. I want to see if anyone's really sleepy and they can go... Okay, she's kind of tired, so we'll get her to sleep. And then, uh, I think a good thing here is just going to be to juggle everyone's needs. Do I not have a toilet? There's no toilet, so I guess I have to make that bucket. <laughs> bucket toilet. Oh, I was really hoping I could, like, sneak it out somewhere. So we'll put one there. And then Jack can also make something. We're going to have to make a shower, because obviously you're going to need that afterwards. Oh, here's our pantry. Ten rations of food right now. If you want to speed up time, press left shift. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Okay, so Patricio needs a shower. Oh, I think someone's already. Oh my gosh, what an animation! We'll uh, we'll pan off of that. <laughs> Okay, so it's nighttime out here. Uh, okay, that doesn't do anything, but I think we use that for use that for radio transmissions. I think we use the intercom if someone is out here. So if I straight up walk out here right now without putting on a suit, and I go out to this door and then open this hatch. I'm pretty much dead. It's kind of silly, but that's how it works. Get some water here. Is this full? Yes, it is full. I believe the rain actually does fill that up, which is kind of cool. The water storage is at max, so that's not going to happen. That's not going to stay that way for long. Just get everyone a drink here. And then everyone's gonna eat. There we go. And Wilhelmina is awake now. We have to wash that out first, I guess. And then she'll have to. She's gonna need a shower at some point. So now everyone's just kind of hanging out. Uh, let's make a new room if we can. Day two, what does day two bring? I actually honestly do think that there will be animals that just kind of come out across this uh, the top. Kind of neat. Where did these build an extra storage room? Okay, so we have enough to make these extra rooms. And it looks like I can't build left or right. We can literally only build down. He's tired though, so after that he can go to sleep. So I think this is still the tutorial. I guess I'm not actually... Oh, someone needs to be tired. Or sleep. Someone needs to sleep. They are tired. And he's back down here. Oh, yep. See, he's got the red meter there now. 
Um, we're just going to speed this up a bit. Let's also make sure to feed... Oh, uh, we have to go on expeditions, basically. Yep, set up an expedition, go out hunting for the items. Not sure if we fed our cat or not, but we will feed. Okay, now the cat comes running across. Of course. Uh, there's something else we can make here. Which I actually kind of want to. Lisa, oh, I thought there was. Oh, yep, the mop bucket. So that's going to be kind of handy. Let's make sure to keep everything clean. Can't really put it anywhere, so we'll just put it right here. Actually, no, cancel that. Someone else can go clean it out. Jack can go clean it out. So we've got a lot to balance, so this is, this gets kind of intense fast. Oh, stra- oh, okay, we have a stranger here. So we'll, I think we're gonna, we're gonna check out the stranger here, and then we'll call it after that. Oh my gosh, do you guys hear that? Be wary of who you let in. So there is someone apparently here. Uh, new recruits. New recruits enter the shelter automated. They can be given jobs, but automation cannot be switched off, and they cannot be sent out on expeditions until their loyalty is high enough. That makes sense. Honestly, in the back of my head, that was the first thing I thought. I was like, oh, we'll just send the new person out. We'll keep our family safe here at home. Um, if they become fully stressed, they will leave. Automation can be deactivated after three days. Recruits can be sent out on expeditions after five days. They'll be fully loyal after seven days. How about I hop in and join you? Yeah, what's up? So. Nice. Oh my gosh, that's right. I can press H to automate people. So like if I, uh, I, I just saw that logo up here. So if you press H, she's automated. She'll now take care of herself. If you go over to Jack, automated. He'll take care of himself. This guy needs to sleep. So we, he is going to sleep. Uh, you're the only other person. Looks like we have a parts system upgrade. Okay. Oh, that's right. I believe, yeah, I can upgrade this to bench too. Upgrading the oxygen filter, generator, and water filter. That's kind of cool. Oh, and we can upgrade the shelter doors so they can't be breached. I guess I'd... Ooh, that's... So we can't upgrade it right now. Oh, oh, that's level three. Okay. Let's upgrade that to level two. Let's do it. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I might just automate everybody and then just try to plan around that. That might actually work out pretty nicely. But uh, I think, can I pause the game? How do I pause the game? I think we might, uh, we might wrap it up here. There's the pause, press escape, look at that. Get this nice little notepad uh, planner over here. That's kind of cool. Uh, but that's going to wrap it up for this uh, intro video to the Sheltered series. Uh, the more I play this, I think it's going to get a little bit better. Thank you for watching all the way through here. I'm just, I'm, I'm still getting my bearings in the game. This one takes a bit, takes a bit there, and I think I'm getting it. But that's going to do it for this episode. And until next time, folks. Have a good one.